in-app messages. So in-app messages is a way of communicating with your users. It's a message that gets sent to the user inside the app. When he opens the app, he will see the message. In-app messages will only work once your app has already been published and it's already on the phones of users. It's available in the App Store. Then you can come back into your back end and you can create messages to be pushed through to your users or to appear in their applications when they open the applications. So let's do that. Let's change the features. The first thing you can do is you can change the icon as we know. We can also change the page name should we like to. Let's add an in-app message and see how it works. So this is the process. First thing you're going to do is you're going to give it a title. Special deal. And we're going to write our message. Come in today for a 50% discount. So there you go. There's a good example of an in-app message. We're going to add a cover image. Okay, so we've got a cover image, we've got a title, and we've got our message. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little right arrow over here. And it will ask us which locations we want to send the message to. So we can send the message to no specific locations. In other words, to all our users. Or we can send them to a specific location where we will enter a Google Maps address and then we can put a radius around that address and only send the messages to users within that specific area. The reason for that is maybe you have a couple of branches and you want to send a message only to the people at your Santa Monica branch or whatever. It's really powerful and it allows you to segment your users and communicate with a specific section of your users. Okay, but we're going to send it to all our users and then we are going to click on the little right arrow again. And here we can send it to specific users or to all the users. So the first option is send to all my users, which is pretty self-explanatory. It will go to all your users. The second option is to send to specific topics. Now, this section is only available once you have activated the topics feature down here. Now, the topics feature is pretty much somewhere where your users can show that they've got a specific interest in a specific topic or subject. In other words, you can say you have one subject or option is coffee and another one is food and one user says he's only interested in coffee. So you can send an in-app message to users that are interested in coffee. And that's what the topics are for. Then we can put in an expiration date. So in other words, if we want our message to only show for a certain period of time, we only want to offer this special until Thursday, we can put in an expiration date and a time. And then the next thing is we can also say, when do we want to send it? Do we want to send the message right now? Or do we want to send the message on a specific date? So I want to send the message then and I can set that. And there you go. Once I press OK, the message will be sent. It won't be sent right now because we are obviously not live and in the App Store. But if I press OK, the message will go out as per my instructions. And that is in-app messages. Very easy to use and a very powerful marketing and engagement tool for any business.